All right, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us. We are about to embark on a tour of the Alpha LinkedIn environment. This is Lori Ruff, your Chief Branding Officer, and I have some folks from Alpha Orlando who have agreed to join me on the call today and to participate in the training so we'd have a real live environment to have everybody um, take part in and, and take a look at. So when you go into um, LinkedIn, depending on your screen resolution, you'll be able to actually see some of the banner and stuff above uh, above somebody's profile. But when you when you first go to your profile and you look at it, if you're um, if you're not a member of the LinkedIn group, so if you go all the way to the bottom of your profile and look at your groups and you are not a member of the Alpha LinkedIn group, then it's time to join. And you can join us and engage with your fellow Alpha members at joinalpha.org. So let's take a look. First of all, if you're looking for the Alpha group, you can type Alpha in the search box. You can also um, specify that you want to search for groups or companies um, or people or everybody and um, search for Alpha and you'll find a lot of your colleagues there as well as the groups in the company page. So right now you'll see that there are seven results for group search um, on LinkedIn and that is because we have not quite finished um, cleaning up our presence. We've got a little bit more to do. Eventually what you will see is Alpha, Empowering Latino Leaders, the official group. And you'll also see our subgroups, such as Women of Alpha, Students, um, Latina Entrepreneurs, things like that. So we'll look at um, when people take a look and they search for Alpha, they're going to find either the primary group or one of the subgroups that they're interested in. Now, if they say, hey, I'd like to join the subgroup of Latino Entrepreneurs, and they click Join, it'll let them know, hey, this is a subgroup of Alpha, and you're joining, you're requesting to join Latino Entrepreneurs, but it'll also make you a member of the primary Alpha group. So no matter what somebody's interest is, in order to join and participate in that interest area, they will become a member of the official Alpha group as well. And again, invite your friends to join and engage with us on LinkedIn at joinalpha.org. So let's take a look really quickly at the company page. Now you're seeing this from my perspective. So I am an administrator on the company page, which is why I have this share and update, and it asks who I can follow it with. I can also see analytics on the page. So there's some cool tools back here in the background of your LinkedIn company page. And again, we only have one company page, which will be Alpha Inc. Empowering Latino Leaders. Um, and so what happens here then is we post things of interest to Alpha broadly. And I can see quickly different kinds of organic results, who's liked and commented on it. This post, for example, we've gotten 46 likes and three people have commented. Um, and it's been up there a little bit over a week. Um, I can add a comment, but if I add a comment here, it's going to be coming from Alpha. So I know if I'm on the company page as an administrator, I have to speak in the company voice. So there's also another opportunity here that I wanted to show you, particularly our chapter leaders. When I share an update, I can share it with all followers, or I can choose a targeted audience. Now the targeted audience allows me to choose the size of the company, the industry, the function, seniority, and one of our options is geography. This is where it gets really interesting. If we are looking for North America and the United States, I can specify that this is only for people in the United States, or I can expand this a little bit further and choose a state. So it's not by, like California, I couldn't specify Northern California versus Southern. Um, yes, I can. They added that. Yay. So for the LA chapter, the greater Los Angeles area, let's see how many members or people on, in the greater Los Angeles area are following us on LinkedIn. So there are 175 targeted followers. So that's great. Now, if the greater Los Angeles area has less than that, I'd have to add another area in order to share a update with just our followers in LA. But since they have more than 100 followers from the greater Los Angeles area, we can share it with the entire audience right there, very targeted. So there's Orange County, there's Greater San Diego. If we look in um, Massachusetts, for example, I know we have a large uh, chapter there in Boston. We can segment just to the greater Boston area. And 
we have 339. Now, not all in Boston because Southern California is still clicked. So remember, if you want to change your audience, you have to unselect one before you select the other. Um, now, why am I showing all of this stuff to the chapter presidents and the leaders and showing you how to use LinkedIn? I hope that you will come back and revisit this particular webinar many times over so that you get a really good understanding of how to use LinkedIn. This is really powerful not only for your work in a chapter leader or as a volunteer in Alpha at chapter level or even at the organizational level, but as a professional, the more you understand about the environment of LinkedIn, the more successful you're going to be in your personal professional development as well. So if um, I select that, then it says it shares with a targeted audience. I can put um, information about what's going on in the Boston chapter here um, on this site. Now, if I type in a URL, like alpha.org, and hit space, it'll give me that preview of the website. And um, I can actually choose to remove the preview. And if I'd like, I can attach a file. So I can come in and attach a photograph, which is what I did here for this one. There's actually a URL in this that takes you to donate um, for um, to donate directly to Alpha to consider to support the mission of Alpha. And here's a photograph of a bunch of our volunteers who worked on the President's Lounge in the New York office. Um, and it's quite an engaging picture. So I got a lot of impressions and a lot of views. That's really cool. All right, so that's kind of our company page. Now, what's interesting when you look at the company page is you can see there are 163 employees on LinkedIn. We don't really have 163 employees on paid staff, but we certainly have a lot of people who are working almost a full-time job here at Alpha um, on a volunteer um, basis. So if you want to engage with other leaders, other people who add Alpha as a organizational um, opportunity or as a position opportunity, you'll be able to engage with them on LinkedIn and click on see all. You'll see all the people featured. Also featured groups. Here's our Women of Alpha subgroup and our primary group. You can have up to three groups on your company page that you feature. So it will be Alpha, it will be Women of Alpha, and then it will be one other initiative. Um, and then, of course, you can continue to scroll down and see the different um, opportunities that are available for reading status updates. Now, there is one other way to put out a status update that it doesn't show up on the company page, but that's a paid feature. So if there's some targeted updates that you would like to make as a chapter leader, and you'd like to send out a series of updates, for example, uh, but you want them to go out pretty quickly, so we don't want them to all show up on our company page, there's a way we can handle that, too. So if you have that interest, please reach out to me directly, and I'll show you how to do that and get you set up and ready to do it. So if we want to go to our feature group on LinkedIn, we can type in our address bar, joinalpha.org, and that will take us to the LinkedIn group. Of course, from the company page, you can also click on the Alpha group. And if you're looking at someone's profile, for example, here one Charlie Garcia's profile, and here's the LinkedIn group as well, and it's showing you how it's growing. Um, and then, of course, you can do a search on groups, click on interests in groups, or search here in your search bar. And then I came to my personal groups, and I can see what's going on in the alpha group. And then here is the official group itself. So here at the top, when you first come into the group, you'll notice that there is a hero banner or a hero image. And you'll see that change at least once a month, maybe a little bit more often, depending on what's going on. But this is the first impression you want people to see of your group. So pretty quickly, you'll see something going up for the holidays. Um, and then you'll see something going up about the new um, website and different initiatives, things like that, stuff about the convention. And then you'll notice that the hero banner, that image, or that slider, as some people call them, is going to pull up featured discussions. So their manager's choice or discussions that are featured to really bring it to the attention of folks that are coming to visit the group. So here, Frank Lopez um, posted something about considering and engaging with and joining Alpha LinkedIn group. Um, here is a discussion that I posted about looking for volunteers to fill board or committee positions. And I said, hey, here's how you use our um, jobs tab in the LinkedIn group. 
And several people answered that, including people, mostly actually, who were looking for volunteer positions. So they were volunteers looking for a way to get involved with Alpha. So I really encourage you to use this. Um, as you scroll down the group, on the top right-hand side, you'll see top contributors, you'll see your contribution level, and then the subgroups. And across here, you'll see build your business, and you'll see the people have liked and commented on the discussion. There's a recent study that came out posted by Eric DeMonte, um, and people are um, engaged in conversation and liking that as well. Notice when you like something that it says your name, along with 17 others, but when you comment, it shows not only your name, but your picture. So if you consider that LinkedIn was first created to be a professional networking environment, imagine how much you can supercharge your own professional networking across the breadth of the entire organization nationwide by involving yourself in the LinkedIn group, commenting on a couple of discussions every day, maybe liking a discussion, uh, that means something to you. And not just posting, you know, hey, great post, but make it a little bit meaningful. Say why it's a great post. Start to stand out as a thought leader or somebody who has an opinion and really get to be well known in our community. And you'll see that, you know, posts are going pretty well, people are engaging, and that's really happy news for us. So what happens, there's a couple of things that I want you to notice when you're at the top of the group here. First of all, our logo and the name of the group along with a group navigation bar, and you'll see that I have an extra one called Manage. And then you can see the number of members in the group. If I were to click on that, it would actually take me to the Members tab. And there's also an I over here, Information and Settings, and then Share. So if you'd like to share this group with your network or your colleagues, you can do that by clicking the Share button and saying something, share an update, say something about the group, and um, and what people can expect to find here. You can also post this to other groups, although you want to be careful, because some other groups don't allow um, introductions or, or um, sharing requests to other groups in their group, because it's, um, you can only join 50 groups on LinkedIn, so it's considered rude in some circles to try to recruit members from one group to join another. So use caution there. And then again, right here next to it is a little I button, and when I click on I, I get information about the group. And you can see when the group was created, it's a professional group, the number of members, the owner of the group, which is your chief branding officer, how many subgroups we have, who some of the members are. These are really important about the group. We have group profile that tells you what we are, who we are, what we stand for. We have group roles. And if I click on the group roles, you can read through that and it tells you what's going on in the group and what, what acceptable behavior is in this environment. And then of course there are group statistics and your own settings for the group. On the group statistics you can see how many members, what their seniority is, their location, their functions, how many comments. We can look at the group growth, so it's been pretty steady. And then we really started taking off in September. Um, when I started an active um, lead generation campaign to invite people to the group. And then we can see the group's activity, um, which is kind of interesting and fun. So again, that is all under the big I on the top right-hand side. And this is consistent across all the groups, the same layout. So we have discussion, we have promotions. Now the promotions on the group are for people who are promoting something at the local level in your chapter as it's related to Alpha. So we're allowing people to come in and say, mention a welcome, it's my first time joining the group, that kind of a thing. Here's somebody who became a best-selling author, um, just had a, a, a new book published. But for the most part, this activity that's allowed here is for the events that are going on. So here at Lysandra, um, posted about the Alpha Hartford chapter, joint holiday networking party, and um, then invitations to the groups. Glad to be involved. Here's Springfield Toy Drive. One of our members posted. So these are the things that the local chapters are having um, that are promotional in nature, promoting an event, activities in your area, um, or celebrating successes with your local members. And then we get to the jobs tab. And we have some things on the Jobs tab. 
Um, there's two items that I want you to notice on the Jobs tab. First of all, every now and then, whether we want to, them to or not, LinkedIn will pull jobs from their job board into our group, which sucks. But, and that's the official word for it, by the way, according to Lori Ruff, the LinkedIn Diva, your chief branding officer, this sucks. This means I have to come in or a moderator has to come in a couple times a day and delete these from the group. But why is that important? That's important because this is the official group of ALFA, the Association of Latino Professionals for America. That means that this is a group that is going to promote and benefit the members and the chapters of Alpha. So the discussions that are happening on the discussion board are around our editorial calendar, what's of particular interest to our group members, around the mission statement, developing leaders um, for the nation in every sector of the American economy. The promotions tab is to promote what's going on at the local level, and the jobs tab is to uh, um, hopefully help volunteers connect at the local level and find positions that mean something to them and help the chapters find volunteers who have the skills that they need. Now, this group currently has no jobs. And notice right here on the right-hand side, there's a jobs tab and jobs discussions. So jobs discussions is where you'll see um, conversations around jobs pop up. So if you're a volunteer, and you live in a, um, say, Tampa, Florida, and you're interested in volunteering, you might post that you're available for a volunteer position here in the group. Um, and if you are a, a group uh, chapter, such as Alpha Orlando, um, then you might want to post a job here. Now, our folks with Alpha Orlando are on the call with me today, and they have been very kind in feeding me some information that I knew I would need for this particular training. So I'm going to click on the Manage tab now and show you particularly about the jobs. Now sometimes when you post, um, some people forget not to post in the, um, in the general posting, but to use promotions or jobs. So Alpha Orlando seeks public relations committee member. Thank you, Carolina, for posting this. And I can read more about it here. Um, or I can read less. So as a manager or moderator of the group, I can see a little bit more about what's going on. And then I'm going to approve this because this is what the whole idea of jobs with Alpha is all about. So I'm going to click on Approve. And then there's another job here, Application Support Engineer Implementation Consultant, Denver. Now this is for a paid position. So we are not giving our partners um, access to our members through this board on LinkedIn. This job board on LinkedIn is, again, I'm going to say it one more time, for volunteers and chapters to connect together in a place where they can focus on finding each other. So I'm going to delete this um, job that was posted because it's not according to our group rules and the environment we're setting up. It's not content that's allowed. So I'm going to click back over here on discussions real quick and continue the conversation just a little bit more about jobs. If you are a chapter leader who is looking for a volunteer, or you are a volunteer who is looking for a volunteer position in your chapter, um, you'll come to the, to the primary board here, and you'll start a discussion. Notice when you click and start a discussion, now there's add more details, and there's discussion type right here. So on the discussion type, we say promotion, job, or general. In the, in the subject line, you'll want to do what Caroline did and put the title of your chapter, alpha chapter name, seeks, and what kind of a position you're seeking. And then in additional detail right here, you'll add a little bit more about the job, maybe who they should apply to, um, who they'd be reporting to, what the duties entail, that kind of a thing. Now, if you're seeking a job, you may just put member seeks volunteer position doing, uh, you know, and, and that, kind of, that kind of stuff. So what you're looking for and maybe where you're looking for it. And then put the details here and again, click on job and then you'll be able to share. All right, the next thing I said was that on our board, on our discussion board, we are moderating these discussions very tightly. We have editorial uh, positions available for people who would like to join the editorial team. Um, Raul is on that team, 
and he did an interesting article originally in Spanish, um, and then he republished it in English. We had a conversation around whether that was good practice or not because it's duplicate content, but frankly, Google can't tell the difference um, of it being duplicate content because of the different language, so it's not considered duplicate content. The other thing you want to consider is, is it in alignment? What you wrote or what you'd like to share with the group, is it in alignment with our mission to empower and develop Latino men and women as leaders of character for the nation in every sector of the global economy? So here, um, Raul posted this, it's what can we do differently? Now, typically in a, in a subject line, I'd put a little bit more about what the topic is and how it applies to the mission. But again, he and I had a conversation earlier today, so I know that this does, in fact, align with our mission. So I'm going to go ahead and improve it. But you see here, I can click on the link, and if I do, it takes me, opens up a new window, and I can see a little bit more about it. So I'm going to approve that. And then um, here's somebody else on the primary board who's seeking um, job applicants, so we're not going to be allowing that. Um, and then there's some additional things. So we'll get rid of the job openings and job postings, and then I'll go take a look at the other um, discussions that are requested to post there that um, I may have to go take a look at the content to ensure that it aligns with our discussions and with our, with our content. Now, you know, for a moderator, that's a lot of work, but it is incumbent upon us to protect our community and to bring to them only the content that they come to us for and related content that we think will be of interest with them. Now, I do want to show you one thing I, had, I didn't notice on Raul's post. Um, and Raul, if you're watching this, thank you for being my guinea pig. I appreciate you very much. But what I'd like you to do is when you post the discussion here, instead of putting the URL here in the discussion, put that in more detail and let the URL fill. And then you might copy the title, what can we do differently um, you know, as a Latino culture, or might, again, expand on the title a little bit, or put the title in the discussion bar instead of the URL. So you can see that this doesn't look like anything that somebody's going to want to read because it's a URL, so that's not very attractive. So what I'm going to do is here, right from um, the main board here, you can like or comment or follow the discussion, but I can also, with this little drop down, I can flag it as a promotion or a job or delete it or I can reply to Raul privately. So what I'm going to do is reply to him privately and I'm going to get rid of that long one and your LinkedIn post and just let him know, Raul, thank you for your post. I need your help to make it shine in the group. And I'll paste that so I don't forget. Instead of instead of the URL as the subject subject. I'm having trouble typing today. Um, so the pressure is on. Um, instead of the URL as the subject, please include the post title there along with a comment about its relevancy to the group. Then add the URL in the um, add more details box. Thanks. Let me know if you need any assistance. So if you're trying to post something in the group and you're really not sure um, how things are going and, and whether you're doing the right thing, please feel free to reach out to me. I will be available to help you. When you get my email and, and you see my email, um, I, my signature line has my cell phone in it. And I, you have to uh, text me because it's taking me a while to, um, to reply to you because of the volume of email I get. Please feel free to text and let me know. So now that I've sent him that note, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Um, and then once he re 
repost it, it'll come back into the moderation queue, and I'll go ahead and um, and approve that. And in the meantime, David has been on um, as well, and let's do more to connect in this holiday season in 2015. Shout out to Alpha member Kari, Kari Anderson for covering Adam about doing favors. Let's act for the benefit of others. I know Kari Anderson. Um, so thank you for posting that, David. Uh, now, how did David get on the board without um, me going back into the back end to prove it? Well, David is a moderator in the group, and we've been training the moderators about how to post and the appropriate content. Um, so again, if you're interested in being a moderator in the LinkedIn group, or if you're interested in helping out with editorial content to provide either curate or write or to be given some content to post in the group, um, please let me know. We are looking for people, and we need a lot. I don't want to see, you know, it be boring for us to come in and see five people post all the time in the group. What's the what's the value in that? This is one alpha, but we have many voices, and we'd like to hear them all, particularly our chapter leaders. So hopefully that will give you a good round overview of the group. Um, now, I, I did approve um, that John posting, so let me go back and look at it. Um, and here is the Alpha Seeks Public Relations Committee. And um, again, I'm not sure why Henry has gotten this post in the group, because this is not actually a post. It's a job uh, discussion. So I'm going to click on his name and make sure that his permissions are set. I don't want to go look at his profile. <laughs> I'd like to go set his permissions to make sure that he can't just post freely in the group. Um, so I'm not sure why that happened, but I will go fix that. And um, I'll start by copying his name. And I'll go ahead and delete that. There we go. So again, very strict, very solid. This job board is for alpha volunteers only. If you are in the Orlando area and you are looking for volunteer roles, please reach out to them. This is not the only role that they have available. They have several um, opportunities available. And I'm sure that your local chapters will all have opportunities available right now. Um, so check out your local community. Now, one last thing I want to show you. These two other buttons right here, members and search. If I click on members, it's going to take me to the members of the group. Now what's really cool is the opportunity to network with each other. If you're looking for someone in Orlando, for example, I might type in the word Orlando. Now it's going to get people who have the word Orlando in their profile as well as being in Orlando. But what I'll show you is that we have 13 results here Orlando in their name. Well, that's different. Usually, it lets you do it by, um, by keyword as well. So what's another keyword? Software um, and location. So you can tell where people are right here, Greater Boston, Greater Chicago, Miami. Um, and here we go. OK. <laughs> that was kind of interesting. I guess we can't search for Orlando. We'll have to add Florida. Um, and here are people. Hey, Jose. There are people who have the word software in their profile. So there are more than 500, so we'd only get 500 results. But you can you can see that you can really, um, you know, get out here, Colorado. Um, you can get out here and find people in a particular locality with a particular skill set, with a particular name, and you can literally start networking with your alpha members nationwide. So Denver, Colorado, there are 179 results. Here's the location. So you know I'm not in Denver, uh, not today anyway. And here's Carlos, who is the current uh, president of the Alpha Denver chapter. And um, Tammy, um, all kinds of people are out here. There's Lewis. Um, I'm, I know a lot of these people. <laughs> this is great. So you can really um, you can really find people in a location again by a keyword, by name and network nationwide. Now, I'm going to stop right here for a second, because here's an opportunity for me to show you something that is a, not a best practice on LinkedIn. It's not only not a best practice, it is against LinkedIn rules. And if they see your profile with this violation, you will not get a warning. Your profile will just be shut down. 
So let me give you this warning. Now, Amy, I'm going to reach out to her and let her know. But here, she has Lion 3700 plus connections in her name. If you have anything in your name field other than your natural name and lettered credentials, such as NBA, right here, um, those are fine. But other words that are keywords or phone numbers, email addresses, special characters, any of that stuff, the special characters, they won't shut down your profile, but anything else, they will close your profile and you'll go to log in one day and it won't be there. We don't want to lose you, so please don't do that. And if you see anybody else doing it, particularly in our group, please let them know. The problem, if you don't let them know, is that somebody else is going to see that and say, oh, that's a good idea. I should do that too. But just because you see somebody else doing it, I'm going to sound like your mother here, just because you don't, you know, you see somebody else doing it doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. So I will be sending Amy a note. Thank you, Amy, for letting us use your profile in this um, in this example. Um, and and then we'll we'll help each other um, maintain a, a really solid, healthy community. Now the search box right here because we've got a member search, but this search box searches discussions. So if you want to see what's going on about Orlando, I can type that in the search box and it searches again the discussions. And so here we go, financial consultant opportunity. I'm not sure. Oh, um, financial consultant for opportunity Miami. So we're going to have to delete that one because um, we don't have jobs like that. Alpha Orlando Professional Development Summit, Hector Perez posted that a long time ago. So you can see that any of them that have been posted for a long time that got a lot of um, activity, you'll see the ones that got the most activity up on top. Now, if you want to see what you've posted and delete old posts, you can click on your name and go look at your own activity um, in the group, and it'll, it'll show all of it up for you. Now, um, two things left. First of all, the Women of Alpha subgroup. Just like you can go to the primary group at joinalpha.org, you can now join the Women of Alpha and engage in the community here at joinwomenofalpha.org. Um, again, you can see it's a subgroup of Alpha. So if I click here, it takes me back um, to the Alpha group. But we have a little bit different um, strategy here in the, in the Women of Alpha group. Notice we have not yet turned on promotions and jobs. We haven't decided strategically how to handle that or what to do in particular. We have some ideas, and once we work through all the different pros and cons and the benefits and features of each strategy, we'll let you know what that is. But in the meantime, the discussions here are, are being posted, and we'd really like to see a lot more engagement in the group. Um, but we have, as you know, just recently launched the Women of Alpha theme this year for making an impact in global society. And we are now um, releasing the tools and templates available to the chapters. And now we will be turning on the information and the activity in the LinkedIn group, posting discussions to engender conversation around a particular topic. There will be moderated discussions from the different Women of Alpha CAV members, the Corporate Advisory Council, and uh, Eliana Musa, for example, and Marcella. So we'll have those here for you. And you'll be able to, again, search members and search discussions so that you can network across the entire Alpha community. And again, if you'd like to see the information, once we get the group rules posted, you'll be able to see that here. And then you can adjust your settings. So when you're looking at your settings in the group, yes, you want to display the group logo on your profile so that people who look at your profile, like we looked at Charlie's back here, can see that you're a member of the group. Now, you want to keep a couple of boxes checked here. Allow the group manager to send me an email. That's going to allow me to contact you from within the group if there's a question. For example, with uh, Raul, I was able to send him a message from within the group because he had that box checked. These are checked by default. The next one is allow members of the group to send me a message via LinkedIn. That will allow them to send you a free message via LinkedIn. And you can adjust which email address your group email comes to. All right, finally, if you invite people to the group, expect them to thank you. And when they thank you, um, here Fernando just sent a uh, request to join the group. Sounds interesting. 
and I see others in my network are already a part of it. I look forward to it. I'm going to reply, thank you, um, you know, for, for um, joining with us, looking forward to engage with you in the group. So, hi, Fernando. You are very welcome. I look forward to engaging with you in the group. Now, why is it important for me to do this? You see how many unread messages I have. Um, and, and that's not really old, by the way. I've just been sending out a lot of invitations to join the group. And I'm responding to people. Now, that's really important because I sent him the invitation to join. And he, he is. And he said, thank you. And when people say thank you, we typically say, you're welcome. And that really allows people to feel that even though there's a computer screen between us, even though we're talking asynchronously, you know, in, in, in step fashion through a message system, we are still talking to each other. And we want to bring people into the group and get them engaged in a conversation in the group. So if we start that conversation with the invitation, they say thank you, we say you're welcome, the next conversation is going to happen in the group. And I bet you'll find Fernando and other people that we invite to join in the group and engage with it before they even get there or as they're getting there, that they will be active members of the group on LinkedIn. And that, the more people that are engaged and involved, the more value that you're all going to see from our LinkedIn group. So I'm just going to give them a little bit of a rock on. Sorry. And then go ahead and send that message out. And so that is it for the um, LinkedIn group demo and profile, I'm going to unmute the line and ask our folks from uh, Orlando if they have any questions that came up while we are, uh, while we were going through that. So hi guys, Carolina, Jennifer, Hello. Marissa, and Chad are all on the phone with me. Hello, sorry, I, I keep forgetting I'm also on mute. <laughs> I do that to myself all the time. So um, do, do any of you have a, a question about what I covered this afternoon? Um, I'm definitely going to go back and rewatch everything because it was all very informational, but I'm really glad because we do have a lot of openings, especially in our Orlando chapter, that um, I'm going to include on there and see hopefully we can get those positions filled. But um, I, I don't have any questions at the moment, but thank you so much for doing this. You're welcome. And I'm glad you said that, too. There is one more thing I should show you. I'm going to leave the line unmuted while we're doing this. But, you know, when you search um, for people on LinkedIn, I, I did a search, um, and, and one of the ways I started, Raul, for example, that I started looking for people who um, may be uh, potential uh, people who would be engaged in the group and, and agree to be on the editorial team, I searched for alpha. Um, so the word alpha in people, and then I, I just added the, in the advanced search, I added people who um, were in the United States. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. Nonprofit interest. So here I am in the advanced search, and I scroll down, and nonprofit interest, board service or skilled volunteering, and I believe that that was the search that I pulled. And there are, yes, there are 133 people who have the word alpha in their profile as a keyword. That means it can appear anywhere in their profile. And they have indicated on their profile um, under volunteer uh, interest that they're interested in board service and or skilled volunteering. And then I sent an inv invitation to all of them to join us as an editorial, uh, join the editorial team. Mayor is on there. Um, and so, you know, a lot of people, Frank Lopez, responded positively, which is nice to see. And it's really great to get a cross-section of people from all areas, geographic regions, industries, different seniority levels at different places in your career, people who are on staff at Alpha, people who are volunteering with Alpha, people who are just members and, and participating in different events. So we get a great um, cross-section of people who have particular interests so that we have more variety and more relevancy to more people. Um, so hopefully you'll find that of, of special interest. But since they indicated they're interested in board service or skilled volunteering, we might also come down here and say location located in or near. Uh, let me scroll back down again a little bit. And what's the zip code in Orlando? 
Uh, downtown is 32803. Okay, 32803. And then I'm going to click on search again. Notice it's within 50 miles. I can expand or contract that. And then click on search. And let's see if anybody in my network. So here are 10 people who may or may not already be on your board. If they're not, you certainly want to take a look at them because they've indicated they're interested in volunteering. You hope that they would be interested in volunteering with Alpha. Um, so in your area, you might do the same thing. Um, you know, look for people who have Alpha in their profile that are, that are raising their hand. And even look for people who don't have the word Alpha in their profile. Maybe they list other keywords. If you're looking for a project manager, for example, you might search for the term uh, project manager so if I say um, here, in print, I'm going to put in quotes, project manager, and that are interested in skilled volunteering or board service. I have 724 people in my network that, um, that match that, that fit. And then if I also, oh, well, this is, wow, within, <laughs> this, is, this is within 50 miles of Orlando. Let me, let me bring it down to 10 just for the heck of it. Let's see what happens. Um, so you guys, if you need a project manager, you have 324 people at, in and around downtown, um, you know, that have that, that meet that criteria. Uh, and so, you know, continue on with maybe putting other kinds of filters in there to whittle it down a little bit more. But use that as an outreach. Um, if you're a chapter leader and you're looking for volunteers, look in your local area for people who are in Alpha, and then look for people who are not yet in Alpha who may become volunteers. Um, and help your organization, um, your, your chapter of the organization grow as well. So is there anything else from our friends on the phone? I, I, think, I think that covers it. <laughs> Great. Great. Well, thank you guys so much. Um, it would not be the same if I was doing this just by myself. Um, you know, I wouldn't have thought of that last thing to show you, for example, so thank you for the question. Um, and it, it really does help to uh, talk to a real audience and, um, and make it relevant for me. And thank you for, for pre-posting that, um, that job position for Orlando, and I wish you guys all success. Thank you, thank Lori. You. See you, too. Thank and you, And I hope Lori. you have a wonderful holiday and end of the new year, and the beginning of a new year. Thank you. You guys, too. Merry Christmas, y'all. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you again.